गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी लिटरेचर चिल्ड्रेन सो आई आस्क ऑल ऑफ यू डेट यू टेक आउट द लिटरेचर बुक ओके एंड वी कैन स्टडी वी आर हैविंग टू पीरियड्स नाउ एंड बोथ द पीरियड्स आर रेगुलर so we can start the literature now still some students are coming so i am giving them entry okay and you can just uh, take off your literature book and you can uh, be ready for the class children so you reply me okay so that i can understand you are understanding or not so what we are going to start we are going to start the story and the name of the story is around the world in 80 days and this is written by who This is written by Jules Verne. So, all of you take out the book. So, still some students are coming. I'm giving them entry. So, you see this story. How many children are there in your class? Seventh standard total. How many students are there? You all are not knowing. Okay, so I can see here very few students are joining the class. Only seven students are joining the class. So now I can start the story, and you all listen very nicely, right? and children when i will explain the story you just mute yourself if you have to speak anything then only you unmute yourself otherwise you mute from your side so children we will see the story line by line and when i will read the story you match you see where i am reading in the book and when i explain you focus on my words so let's start the story before starting this story i want to ask one question from you all okay do you like uh, traveling children do you like traveling do you want to visit another country like japan yes, sir. australia america canada yes sir yes do you want to visit the whole world no sir this is tough question because uh, traveling whole world it will take time right yes so the story is around the world in 80 days only 80 days me less than 3 month less than 3 month okay so what is there in the story we will start very soon so you can 
some extracts from the classic adventure novel around the world in 80 days by french writer jules verne so this is from a novel okay this is from a novel novel used to have so many chapters and one extract we are going to read whole novel uh, novel we are not uh, studying now that you can study later this is written by jules verne who is he he is the french writer you can go to page number 56 and we can collect some information about him Anyone can say this answer. How many countries are there in the world? More than 200 countries are there in the world. And traveling all the countries only in 80 days is not difficult. Is not easy, children. It is very difficult task. So it was published in the year 1873. When it was published, it was published in the year 1873. Let's read to find out how its hero. Circum navigates the world in 80 days and wins a bet of twenty thousand. 
थाउजेंड रुपीज ओके ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड यूरो सो फ्रेंच मनी दिस इज ही इज विनिंग इट वॉज द इयर एटीन सेवेंटी टू फिलिक्स फॉग विन टू द रिफॉर्म क्लब एवरी डे सो एवरी डे वेयर ही वॉज गोइंग ही वॉज गोइंग टू ए क्लब वॉट इज रिफॉर्म क्लब यू सी ए प्राइवेट मेंबर्स क्लब इन सेंट्रल लंदन फाउंडेड इन एटीन थर्टी सिक्स सो ही वॉज गोइंग इन द क्लब एवरी डे एंड वॉट हैपन्स देयर यू सी ही लेफ्ट हिज हाउस एट एलेवन थर्टी ए एम सो एलेवन थर्टी ए एम ही लेफ्ट हिज हाउस इन द मॉर्निंग एंड वॉक टू द क्लब बिकॉज एवरी डे ही वॉज गोइंग टू द क्लब हैड हिज लंच एंड हिज डिनर read the papers and played cards so in the club the people used to have the dinner lunch and they used to play the card also okay see children playing card is if you are playing for fun i can say this is game but if someone is playing for money no that is called gambling and gambling is very bad thing we should we should never indulge ourselves in this type of things okay but this is a story so we can read what is written he walked back home and went to bed at midnight like that only he is going back to the home and then he is at the bed at midnight what is the name of this character the name of the character is philip fogg who was he he was a meticulous and an unemotional man so the man who is not having much feelings about others they are called meticulous okay showing great attention to detail so the man is not having much emotion towards other okay or we can say practical minded person practical minded person then what is happening you see he did not talk much but everything in his life had to be right his bathing water had to be at 31 degree celsius not 30 degree celsius and not 32 degree celsius that much accuracy he wants in his life right so we are going to study in this lesson about a character who want accuracy in his life how much accuracy that the water should be 31 degree centigrade or celsius the water should be warm okay it should not be 32 it should not be 29 or 30 also you see that much accuracy he wants in his life and what is the nature of this person he is unemotional not having any emotion for others or we can say practical minded person James Foster his servant dare to do that so he had to go and he is having one uh, servant also whose name is James Foster what is the name James Foster he is the servant of who he is the servant of you can say Philip so i want to say to all the children from tomorrow you try to join the class on time okay if you are coming late children then how you will study till here have you understood the story seventh yes sir okay anyone can say me till now what you have understood in the story Seventh standard children, anyone can say me till now what you have understood in the story? No, no one. Try to speak, 
children till now we have studied that the title of the story is around the world in 80 days this we have done means the character is going to travel around the world in 80 days and this is written by Jules Verne Jules Verne was born in the year 1828 and died in the year 1905 he was born in France so he is French writer and in the story till now we have seen two characters are there one is Felix Fogg and next is James Foster Felix Fogg he is the person who is practical minded person and he, he is an emotional person he is not having very much emotion for, for others or maybe he is having but he is not showing off then James Foster his servant Philip Fox he wants everything perfect and in detail example if he want his bathing water 31 degree centigrade it should not be 32 degree or it should not be 30 degree also 31 means 31 that much perfection he wants in his life everything to be right and perfect till now have you understood the story children can, you can say me yes at least the response from the students I am having doubt that you all are listening my story or not you can say yes or no at least till here you have understood the story maybe the children are feeling shy to speak because this is my first class in their class ok so I will continue with the next paragraph Felix Fogg got a new servant he said my name is Jean Jean Passe Pertot because in French a Passe Pertot means a master key that can open every door I can get out of anything right so now what happened he is getting a new uh, servant and the new servant name is you see the name is Passer Petot which the meaning is master key so he is saying that my name is uh, Jeans Passer Petot and I can I can uh, make you away from anything any trouble because I can get out of anything tell me about your work said Felix Fogg so now the Felix Fogg he is asking about the work what you are having the experience of your work so if you will also hire someone for work children you will also ask this question only that can you explain something about your work what experience you have how you can help me I am a good man and I can do a lot of different jobs said Jean Passe Pertot so what he said I am a good person first of all who am I I am a good person so you are not hiring a bad one ok you are not hiding a greedy one I am a good person and I can do different jobs I was a fireman in Paris but I left France and I came to England for a quiet life People say that you are the quietest man in Britain, so I want to work for you. So he is saying that I was the fireman in Paris. I came here so that I can have a quiet life. Quiet life means no much disturbance is there. Okay. Silently I am having my life. Right. And whole England is saying the thing that you are the person who is having the quietest life so I want to work with you all right from now 11 29 a.m. on 2nd October 1872 you are my servant so he is saying that okay fine so now you are hired and 11 29 a.m. from now you are my servant so he hired him because he is attracted first of all uh, because of one reason that he is saying that I am also quiet person okay I also like quietness so
so maybe he is getting the idea that this servant is not going to disturb me in future okay with these words felix fox put on his hat and went off so felix fox who is the central character of this story he is having the hat on his head and then he went off have you seen hat children see how much easy question now i started asking from you all now you should give reply have you seen hat okay can yes. anyone say me what is difference between hat and cap natik sambhav aman then rajini naman akriti upasna and hers all the children you can talk with me you can reply you can give the answer and what is the difference between hat and cap so cap is useful cap is circular one in which some part is okay straight right that is cap hat one this is rectangular one generally in shape equal from all the sides in the picture also you can see this is hat and wearing hat in england was a fashion still it is in fashion but now not now that much but generally in the past peoples in the england they were wearing hat a lot okay because of the cold also this can be one reason that evening the men at the reform club talked about a newspaper story about a thief who had taken 55000 pounds from the bank of england and what happened when they all are going in the uh, in the club so in the club people were discussing about a boy the boy what he has done he has done theft work how much money 55000 pounds so 55000 pounds from the bank of england from where from the bank of bank of england one of the men in the card table was gothier ral one of the directors of the bank of england so one of the director of bank of england was also present okay and what his name was his name was gothier ral he said the thief will be caught where will he go and now he is saying that the thief will be caught don't worry where he will go there are best detectives at every port they have his description they will find him and he is saying that detectives are everywhere and these detectives what they can do they can easily find him because they are having the detail about the person andrew stroud an engineer expressed his doubt i think the odds are in favor of the robber who must be a skillful fellow he said andrew stroud one more person is there so you all seen the book children when i am explaining line by line you match andrew stroud is an engineer but he is expressing his doubt and he is saying that i think the things are going in the favor of robber more and this robber seems to be very skillful skillful means he is having talent and he is using all his talent to be safe no country is safe for him replied ralph and the director of the bank of england he said that no country is safe for him means here he want to show his confidence that today or tomorrow he will be caught pasha where could he go then asked ralph oh i don't know that the world is big enough 
said stop so here we can see children that they started talking and discussing that where he can go what the things can be there the world is big you know said stop page number 50 you see it was once said feeling for in a low tone so he is saying that the world was big once upon a time not now what do we mean by once has the world grown smaller said stort stort is asking that the world has become smaller now you know children when the vehicles was not invented for example the bus was not running the train was not running aeroplane was not there and imagine someone has to travel from lucky sarai to delhi okay so nearly how many kilometer it is so it is nearly 1000 kilometer okay nearly from lucky sarai to delhi is 1000 kilometer so they were they were having their animals and luggage whole day they were walking and whole night they were taking rest so like this the people were traveling in the olden days okay but now you see simply someone can take the flight and 3 hour 2 hour they can be in delhi if you take the train okay 10 hour 12 hour you can be in delhi so transportation has made the world small this i can say okay so he is saying and that is why search for certainly so i agree with mr fogg the world has grown smaller since a man can now go around it 10 times more quickly than a 100 years ago and now the man can go 10 times more quickly than the 100 years ago and that is why the search for this thief will be more likely to succeed and the search will also succeed means he will be caught also how much fast he is running no that much fast we can also run and we can caught the caught the thief okay so now let me ask from you all are you understanding children are you un- able to understand the story you can say yes or no yes sir all of you say yes and no okay response yes, in the class give response in the class do you like this story no one is saying you like this story children okay very yes, fine so one more period we are having after this period only and very soon we will start our class thank you all children for listening have a good day